Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to download and install Python programming software for Windows PC right over here. And in addition to that, we are just going to download and install ESP tool which is useful for flashing the micro python image onto the node MCU devices or ESP8266 development boards for programming that particular board in python programming language let's get started so i'm just opening the google chrome and i am going to enter into the official website of python that is python.org so this is the official website of python and in this particular website just hover over the downloads tab and click on windows if you are a mac user you just want to select and enter into this particular page since I am using Windows operating system, I am just going to click over Windows. And here you can see the latest stable releases of Python releases so far to be 3.12.8. And the below you can see 3.13.1 is also released and this is the last released latest version that is 3.13.1. So if you are in a different timeline according to your timeline just download the latest version of software available in this particular website for me the latest available software is 3.13.1 so this is the latest version of python available so far in this website so i'm just clicking on the windows installer 64 bit since i'm using the 64 bit operating system of windows i am just downloading this particular installer if you use a 32 bit operating system you just want to download this I am just clicking on this. My download is started. So if you are in a timeline advanced to this video, you will see latest releases further. You just want to download that particular latest release so that you can enjoy the new features and bug fixes of this particular software. So always download the latest software. So I am just putting this particular thing also inside my downloads folder. To install this particular python, I am just going to double click over this and here just click on this particular add python.exe to path and I have already created a folder for installing this particular python. So I am just clicking on customize installation and I am clicking on next and this is all ok. I am just going to change this particular path. Just I am clicking on the browse button right over here inside the C I am just going to the folder python313 so this is the folder which I have already created I am just clicking on ok and I am going to install the python python 3.13.1 basically in this particular series of videos we are just going to use python programming language so as a default uh, parameter or a software we are just installing this particular python if you are using any other ides like uh, tony id or pycharm which we are going to use in the future it will itself download and install the python that is okay but uh, as a basic understanding i just want you guys to know how to install the latest version of python along with that i'm just going to show you how to download and install the esp tool required for flashing the micro python image onto the node mcu in this particular video let's wait for a while setup is successful and the python is successfully installed onto our pc just click on close and here i'm going to the path where i have installed the python you can see everything is installed right over here it's okay so for testing whether the python is installed or not you can open the command prompt and type in python you can see the python 3.13.1 is showing up which means the python 3.13.1 is successfully installed on your pc just verify this particular command after installing the python latest version on your windows pc so as the next step as i mentioned we are just going to install the esp tool so just type in esp tool 
and you will be diverted to a github page just click on that so this is the official page of uh, esp tool and this particular esp tool requires at least python version greater than 2.7 to be installed on your pc so just install that as per this particular requirement so that you can enjoy the uh, programming in python over micro python on node mcu so i am just going to show you an alternate method of installing the esp tool using command prompt so i am just opening the command prompt I'm going back going back inside the c let me see what all the directories available i just want to move to python 313 as i install the python right over there so i'm just giving cd space python 313 sorry cd space python 313 inside that let me see what are the directories available and you can see there is a directory called scripts so let me just move into that directory cd space scripts and inside that i can see these are all the things available so here is the path where i want to install the esp tool so the command useful for downloading and installing the esp tool is pip install esp tool You can see the ASP tool is being downloaded and it is being installed on my PC. Let me just open the directory also side by side to see what is happening right over here. The downloading and installation is in progress, so never interrupt that. So that is done. The installation of this particular thing is done right over here. Now I can directly erase my node mcu using this particular path by using the command of this so this is the command useful for erasing the node mcu before flashing any new micro python image so purpose of downloading and installing this esp tool is we just want to install a new MicroPython image onto that Node MCU board so that we can program that Node MCU using MicroPython or Python programming language. So before flashing a MicroPython image onto the Node MCU, I just want to erase everything available in the Node MCU. So the ESP tool is successfully installed. So the command for erasing the Node MCU completely is this one esp tool space hyphen hyphen port and you just want to give the com number at which the node mcu is connected followed by erase underscore flash so let me just let me just open the device manager to check the com number it was 14 and it is 14 okay it's fine now i am just going to give this command for erasing everything inside my node mcu i have connected my node mcu to the pc through micro usb cable you can see the erasing is in progress and it is done okay we have completely erased the node mc using the command of so and so now we just want to flash and new micro python image onto the node mcu so that the node mcu accepts the python programming language so for that we have an official micro python website here just type in micro python so this particular micro python is nothing but the python made for microcontrollers so there are varieties of uh, micro python images available for different uh, microcontroller architectures so in our case it is esp8266 which we are going to program and play with so in this particular micro python home page downloads uh, tab just scroll and find the esp8266 i am just clicking on this and uh, scroll down in this particular page and here you can see this is the latest release of micro python image suitable for esp8266 just click on this for downloading it it has been downloaded yes 
I'm just putting this particular inside this downloads okay now I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it inside the scripts folder right over here okay now I'm just going to flash this particular image onto my node MCU using the ESP tool itself for doing that the command goes like this one you can see this is the command I'm just renaming and taking the name of this particular image along with the bin I just want to provide that right over here and uh, in the baud rate section I just want the flashing to occur at 115200 and the com number as we identified it is com14 and we don't want this dot py sometimes this won't work this dot py don't work so I'm just removing that and I'm going to pass this command for flashing this particular micro python image onto my node mcu connected to my pc through micro usb cable you can see it is being flashed the micro python image is being written into my node mcu so that we can enjoy the python programs running on our node mcu So this is the very very basic essential thing we just want to flash the micro python image onto the node mcu so that we can enjoy the python programs running onto our node mcu so this is a very very basic thing required to be done for node mcu or esp8266 for programming in micro python it is done okay so we successfully flashed the micro python image onto our 8266 esp8266 so successfully we did it and for testing this basic testing has to be done right so for testing this let us download the putty serial terminal software so this is a serial terminal software just click on that first link and click on download putty and you can see this is the windows installer just click on this it will get downloaded I'm just putting this also inside the downloads folder so this ESP tool is not required as we installed directly from command prompt so I'm just installing this particular putty software double click on that next next install yes and it is installed click on finish and done now I'm just opening the putty software and uh, as we know this is a serial communication UART communication and COM14 is the COM to which the node MC is connected and the border it is 115200 I'm just opening this you can see the micro python ESP module is showing up right over here which means the python or the micro python image is successfully written on to your node mc so that's it that's all about today's video so in this video i hope you learned how to download and install python latest version onto your windows pc along with that you learned how to install the asp tool using command prompt for flashing the micro python image onto your esp8266 or node mcu development board so we successfully flashed the ESP8266 or Node MCU model with the micro python image and we can enjoy the glimpse of python running on our Node MCU from here on. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.